Hello to our viewers. I am Daria Mikcha. I'm a senior workplace architect at Bright Spaces. And joining me today is Andrei Voica, head of workplace advisory and project management at Evison Young Romania. Hi, And Andrei, thank you for accepting our invitation. Uh, we are here today to talk about real estate and technology, two subjects we are both passionate about. And uh, I'm sure that we will have a lot of ideas to, to throw into the conversation today. Thank you, Daria. It's a pleasure being here with you today. I'm happy. Um, so let's talk about the office a little because uh, we've talked about the pandemic so much and mm -hmm. now for many of us it feels like it was ages ago. However, we agree that it brought a profound change in what we understand about office and workplace in general. And we know that hybrid work is here to stay or perhaps even to become the norm um, in, in how we think of future work. So what is your view on this? And in your experience, what are companies thinking about and looking for when they are thinking about their future office? Yes, even if uh, already two years and a few months passed since the, the start of the pandemic, I would say that the effects are, are felt quite a lot uh, in the local office market and of course worldwide. It's maybe the, the biggest transformation that uh, the office market faced um, regarding the the way people are uh, coming to the office and the way they are interacting with management, the way they are interacting with uh, their colleagues and also their, their clients. And I believe that uh, it's a very uh, good benefit in terms of uh, rethinking the way we are, uh, we are working, the way we are uh, also uh, consulting our clients to, to take uh, informed decisions on the, for the long run. And uh, in the specific case of the Romanian uh, office market, I would say that uh, there were a lot of things that were a bit obsolete. There were uh, years behind other countries. And this uh, exercise with all of its uh, you know, downsides, it will help on the medium long run to, to make, you know, the, to bridge a bit the gap with, uh, with other, um, other markets. Yeah, if you remember before 2019, when we were discussing workplace with, with companies and regarding their strategy, it was a bit tough to convince them to make a change and to uh, pass to activity-based working or hybrid working. And they were saying, I don't think that's going to happen. Exactly. And then all of a sudden it just happened overnight and everyone sort of had to, uh, yeah, had to, had to, to adapt. But then you would see the, the good part of adapting to it and just bring, the, bring out the lessons in it. Yes, and now it's also a matter of uh, seeing what works best for each company. I think what we tried to do also before the pandemic in our uh, in our exercises with uh, with the previous clients was to to convince them and to show them the benefits of going to an activity based work environment, or just to think about the benefits of having um, a shared desking approach for their office, in order to take uh, real estate decisions that would uh, match the, the exact needs of their teams and their employees. And uh, I believe the, the companies that were looking uh, and uh, made, um, you know, um, to, to the decision to implement some of these ideas were a better position when the pandemic came to, to deal better with the, the effects, you know, by uh, not only in terms of uh, making it easier for the employees to work from home or to work in a hybrid environment now, but also uh, regarding the commercial side of, of, of things where uh, they um, had an office designed to, to suit this hybrid uh, way of working. Whereas some of the companies that did not consider this uh, feasible in Romania at all, like not having even one uh, day out of office, uh, they were faced with having uh, uh, an office much larger than their needs and uh, least for a long duration, for a long time. Or what we call now future-proofing your, your business exactly. in the long term. Um, Avison Young is a leading firm in commercial real estate, and I've been reading globally that you have a technology-driven approach, yep. and uh, this has actually placed you on the world's most innovative companies list. I saw that recently, and also that uh, you have a um, newly announced collaboration with UiPath, which is also a Romanian company. Yes. So how do you see the integration of technology and innovation in, in real estate processes that yep. may have been traditional for, for a while as we know them, and what impact do you see them having on, on the office segment in particular? I believe um, 
not for real, not only for real estate, but uh, for any industry, the um, digitalization, digitizing the, the processes and the helping uh, employees perform better and taking faster decisions and, uh, you know, consolidating data in a much better way to take uh, the, the client on the right path. It's, uh, it's essential and especially for real estate where we saw a lot of processes not changed for 10, 20 years even, uh, it will definitely help the market. And we are, we are proud to be part of this journey with uh, Bright Spaces from the beginning in this uh, um, new instrument that we are using for, for the clients. And uh, you mentioned about the collaboration with UiPath. For the moment, it's a global uh, partnership that started uh, in the US, in Canada, and um, in, uh, in England. So uh, we are hopeful it will, um, it will also um, start you know, collecting the um, data and start working also locally. But it's, um, it's great to see that uh, two companies who are putting uh, you know, automation and uh, the digitalization of the processes uh, on, as a first priority are joining efforts to provide clients with uh, better products. Yeah, we're really happy to see that uh, technology is permeating so many layers of real estate and that uh, consultants and actors from the entire field are seeing the value in this and how yep. they, they would adapt their approach into bringing it more and more to um, actually, in the end, uh, make their processes more efficient and help them gain more time so that they themselves can can focus on the important parts of, of their work and on their innovation totally in itself. Um, so coming to, to our newly launched product, um, you already know, but uh, I will mention here that we actually thought about launching 3D custom space planning because we know that leasing an office requires a very clear vision of mm -hmm. what it's going to look like and how it's going to fit your business. And we all live in a three-dimensional world. So uh, probably with a 2D plan, you're, you will be missing some of the details that you would see in, in the world that's surrounding us. Whereas when you see it in, in a 3D virtual tour, it's a much more uh, easy way and effortless way to, to comprehend it for anyone, even people without a, a technological background or um, a way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously Avison is, uh, is our first partner to adopt this solution. And you yourself have a wide experience in design and in space planning. So uh, who best better to, to tell us why you chose it and how you feel that it can work to, to the benefit of both yourself and the end client in particular? I think it's great we, we have this conversation because we both have the same uh, let's say background, background. and uh, experience in, in working um, not only with uh, with our clients but also our colleagues who are interacting um, on multiple chapters with our clients so um, coming from a background of interacting on all the aspects of uh, a commercial office uh, leasing deal that involves also the you know, uh, showcasing the the future office uh, possibilities as well as selecting the space, creating the budgets, creating the design, implementing the design and handing it over to the clients. It's something that, you know, puts us in the middle of all the parties that uh, interact from, from architects, from brokers, landlords, uh, facility managers, uh, all the suppliers that are there. So, um, you know, we collected the, the feedback from uh, multiple uh, parties in order to refine the way we are pro uh, proposing the, the space planning solutions to, to our clients. And I would say that in the past um, 11, 12 years, since uh, I started to work in the office uh, sector, um, I've seen a lot of uh, things in the, the way the 2D uh, space planning was done. I remember one of the, um, the first interactions I had, I think it was 2011, um, and it repeated also. Uh, uh, the client came with the design in paint, like uh, it was <laughs> really fine, uh, funny to, to see. And um, I would say that uh, it was also a process of maturing in the market in the past uh, 11, 12 years, starting from these uh, paint drawings that I knew it happened. Uh, quite uh, a lot back then, and or or, or at least uh, having uh, drawn sketches uh, by by clients, uh, moving uh, further and further in uh, you know providing uh, accurate drawings and testing, uh, doing test fits for multiple buildings for so the clients take informed decisions. 
so you know it was a journey that also helped us in, as an architect as architects uh, working also with the concept uh, design teams that were involved for the projects to you know put um, the value of the design work and architects role um, much better in in this process so i would say it was it was nice to see the the upgrade uh, that was uh, done also from the client's perspective and i would say now in in this moment we are in a different uh, situation and this uh, um, further leap in uh, showcasing the the space planning in a 3d um, and also a office walkthrough that you can see in 3d and you can easily interact like to, to gamify the, the process for for the client to make it as user-friendly as possible is just the next step that uh, solidifies the importance of this uh, uh, step in taking an informed decision so uh, just wanted to share the my view in, in how things have progressed and uh, I would say that with this uh, this instrument will uh, definitely uh, help us uh, speed up the process and also to you know um, make um, uh, the clients take a decision that will then um, consolidate in a faster and better uh, approach of other steps as well. So after the leasing process is completed, the, the, the space is selected, you have this uh, 3D model, you, you can do the site walkthrough, it already creates a better um, you know, start point to develop the concept design, to estimate the cost for the fit out. Overall, uh, everyone was looking for a, a common communication path and yep. now they found it because it, it looks the same yep. and it is understood the same by, by everyone exactly. involved. Um, I actually also have a, a funny case study to an interesting case study to share because we recently did um, by request a 2D mm -hmm. space plan and okay. we actually proposed it to be 3D since the beginning but uh, the client said no no let's go with a really fast 2D because that's what we need right now mm -hmm. um, we gave them the, the 2D and then within two days they called and they said uh, can you please really quickly help us with the 3D <laughs> as well because the client did not understand exactly how the space would be um, in, in the final shape because there were some uh, funny angles it wasn't all uh, boxed shape like exactly. which would be mm -hmm. maybe have been easier to understand <clears throat> and we did that we provided the virtual tour and then the next day they called us and thanked us and said now they are completely clear with what it's going to look like they are comfortable with their decision and they're gonna sign the lease and and take the space sure. with uh, you know a very um, mm -hmm. committed uh, position I want to know how you see the collaboration with Bright, Sp Bright Spaces working in other countries with the other Avison branches uh, definitely. I think uh, one of the um, things that uh, puts Evison Young uh, forward to, um, to be able to work with companies like Bright Spaces who want to innovate uh, other industries, you know, and optimize the, the processes for uh, real estate, it's uh, the fact that uh, also my colleagues from, from Canada, from, from the States, have uh, recently won an uh, important award from Fast Company. Uh, it was an award for uh, most innovative real estate agency. Um, it was mostly dedicated for the progress in a um, real estate and urban development tool that they did. But it just shows the interest that they have in, uh, in you know, uh, changing the way that is collected, the way it's showcased to the clients and how this market insight can, you know, um, can help um, transform the industry in a in a much you know uh, in a in a more uh, dynamic and uh, future proof uh, way of doing things um, i actually uh, discussed already with uh, my colleagues from uh, from uk and um, we will try to use to use the tool for clients that they have in their corporate um, um, agreements so uh, it would be it would be even better to see it developed for the same company in different geographies so if we will manage to to use uh, the instrument and do the 3d space planning uh, for the same uh, uh, company in uh, different countries across the region uh, that will also help you know identify some cultural differences and some uh, uh, specifics uh, but in the same time it will help 
uh, those uh, that company uh, have a much better you know uh, insight and analysis on how their colleagues are you know um, adapting to the hybrid work across uh, across the world so um, having this and then continuing with other tools that i've mentioned uh, Avicenyang is developing at the moment not only with UiPath but also with uh, with other uh, companies will um, you know will will help uh, move uh, the real estate sector in the better direction yes definitely we really want to see more uh, more companies doing the same thing that you are doing and your approach is clearly shown by the the awards you're winning congratulations Thank you. It's not me, but uh, definitely <laughs> it's, it's great steps. to be part of a company that will put this, uh, you know, as a priority. And uh, the fact that uh, we are constantly seeing this, uh, not only investment, but also drive to uh, search new ways of working in how we also perform things, but also how we can differentiate from from the other companies. It uh, it's it's great to to be part of. And um, specifically for uh, for the local market, having the three um, D space planning uh, instrument and the uh, office walkthrough now uh, already working with you on the on the first uh, uh, couple of projects, it's definitely uh, you know uh, motivating to see how uh, we are part of this uh, this journey and uh, making uh, you know the best out of it and collecting uh, all this. Uh, experiences in doing a better uh, job for our clients. How do you feel that in the future it will transform uh, the way leasing decisions are made by by tenants, whether it be corporate companies being in a um, contract with a, with an agency or smaller companies making the decision on their own or throughout the, the whole spectrum of, of companies? So I would say it will be a benefit for uh, all segments, all industries. Uh, doesn't matter if the company is big or large. First of all, I would say that being in the market, as I've mentioned, uh, for for many years and seeing how decisions would, were taken, um, not having this uh, visualization from the beginning or understanding how your needs fit within that space, um, in a you know more concrete way, in having this uh, this. Uh, office walkthrough from the beginning in multiple sites um, didn't allow tenants to take uh, this aspect too much into consideration. So the decisions were either based more on financials, what uh, what uh, office or what office premises uh, uh, resulting in the best uh, deal in terms of financials for the, for the lease term, or a more subjective decision, um, let's say, uh, what building from the outside uh, looked better for the project team or the location that um, they uh, they preferred which all of them are important uh, i wouldn't you know disconsider any of this uh, these elements when taking a, a decision to to relocate or to even to renegotiate in the same property if uh, that's the the best deal but um, having only uh, 2D test fits or not having them at all, just uh, you know, comparing uh, usable areas and uh, gross usable areas between multiple buildings, without seeing uh, you know how the the needs would fit, um, <clears throat> at least in a 2D way, uh, didn't allow you know for for some of the companies to um, to take the the best decision and then. It's a bit late after the the lease is signed to start considering how you can use the the, off, the office premises you have leased for your needs, and that's why also the WordPress advisory product that we've been both working uh, in parallel in the past years in the local market, you know, helped uh, companies and will I'm sure it will continue to to help formulate the best um, you know design team that will then the brief that is being used to develop the 2D layouts and then the 3D layouts that are being uh, tested for uh, the office locations that the companies are considering um, in such a way that the companies also going forward in terms of the way uh, people are interacting, the way clients are coming in the space, the way the work is performed in this hybrid way of working where you need more meeting rooms to, to work in a hybrid way and also to allow, you know, uh, I would say more space for employees to densify the space and, uh, you know, uh, 
create a context where people are, you know, uh, interested and attracted to come back to the office. And one thing I don't want to forget to, to mention about it, I would say that um, the 3D space planning uh, tool and uh, this, you know, um, use of the, the instrument in the leasing process does not affect in any way the, um, the role of the concept and the design architect. Yes, that's true. Because that's only actually helping uh, the next step of doing the concept design, the look and feel of the office in a more, you know, fast and informed manner, not to restart from the beginning the test fits and uh, just, of course, doing all the um, optimizations or uh, fine tuning that an architect sees relevant that will, uh, you know, uh, better uh, represent and reflect his, uh, his design intent. Uh, but uh, starting from a moment where the client already understands the space, already understands the perimeter, the, um, uh, the volumes actually, because you also see it in 3D, and it's, it makes things much smoother and easier for the concept architect to, to continue with his process. There were, there were companies who um, um, in the past years were willing to you know, invest and dedicate time before the lease uh, was signed to work on this concept design. And of course, 3D models were done also before. Uh, it's not something uh, not foreseen, um, foreseen before, but it was very rare. So I would say that maybe 5% uh, or even less companies that I've interacted with were willing to go so far in doing uh, an agreement with a concept design architect, do the 3D model, do renders for the reception, for the meeting rooms, for the overall environment before the lease was signed. So it's usually uh, this part of the process, it's after the lease is signed and in, therefore the, um, the product that Bright Spaces has uh, delivered, it will only uh, optimize the process that is designed, it is designed for, but also the following processes. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to uh, cut down on wasted time before people understand the, the, how the space is, how the space can look like for them, not how the space will look like in the end with mm -hmm. all the bits and pieces and the uh, everything that's added within the architectural process. And we want it to be easily accessible so that everyone does it, not just the the five percent that understood exactly. from the from the beginning that they needed to to uh, do it in order to have an informed decision. Yes, and specifically for us, I think um, it's an even bigger opportunity because we we can offer um, uh, better products for our clients. So uh, it's not only for uh, you know um, speeding up the the process and uh, also um, helping the client take better decisions, but for us uh, as a team, with uh, myself as an architect and the project management uh, uh, department coordinator. Also, my colleagues who are doing the brokerage services, also colleagues who do the facility management services. Overall, I think we uh, we all have the drive to you know innovate things. And when we meet with a client, we really can prove that we have the tools and the approach that differentiates us from the competition. Great, Andrei. To conclude, okay. is there a future of real estate showcasing and leasing without technology? I would say that uh, Microsoft. The future is already here. <laughs> yes, the future is already <laughs> and here. It's but not. We don't um, I would say that um, it's closer than we we realize. I think um, you know um, a lot of products that came in the market that were you know um, the filling up the the gaps that the market needed always grew and um, were, uh, were absorbed immediately. So I, I have the trust that this uh, uh, type of product, which helps in the communication between all parties of, uh, of real estate transaction, from landlords, uh, tenants, and also consultants, uh, it's something that uh, will be uh, immediately uh, received by the market and will be used uh, for the long term. So let's launch some trends. Exactly, and uh, looking forward for uh, other products as well from, from Bright Spaces. We, will, we are working on them. Thank you, Andre. It's been a pleasure and uh, hope to do this again soon since we are such a good fit in, in this 
Thank you, Dara. Yes, it's uh, it's new uh, having this conversation between us in a podcast studio, but always great. We'll we'll meet next time to to give the follow up after the the first uh, implemented projects of our clients. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.